Hi Aries, I hope you're all doing really well. So this is going to be a general love reading for mid-April to the end of April 2022. And it is for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs. It is a general reading, so it's not going to be everybody's situation. But of course, you can check out one of your other signs if you'd like, or you can book a personal reading with me. I'm also offering cord cutting sessions. Um, just email me if you're interested in one of those. And for the personal readings, you can find all that information in the description box below this video. All right, so Aries, let's see what is going on with you in a love connection mid-April. Keep in mind that the roles can be reversed because this reading is general, okay? In personal readings, the roles are not reversed, okay? We look specifically into each person's energy. All right, so Aries, let's see. For the situation, we have the Nine of Pentacles crossed by the Eight of Swords. Wow, okay, so somebody is really feeling trapped in a situation um, that they're really trying to find their independence from, um, trying to detach, wanting to be more self-reliant or to just, well, I would even say, you know, possibly... Um, just completely move away from something, from a situation, from another person, from maybe even from you, maybe this is you trying to move away from them. Somebody is trying to move away from a situation, trying to become more detached, more independent. Um, but there is some fear surrounding, surrounding that. So we'll see. Let's see for you, we have the Wheel of Fortune, the King of Cups, and the Page of Wands. Okay, so there's a shift here. Um, I feel like you have felt you have felt the shift either in yourself or within the within the connection. It's interesting though because we have the King of Cups, so there's some kind of a shift, but you're still you're still feeling a lot of love. There's still a lot of love here. We'll see when we clarify, but it, it's also coming in as you. Um, wanting to move possibly in a new kind of a direction, wanting to take some, just some kind of a new journey here, a new path. It's almost like you're, I feel like you're just feeling more emotionally stable overall. And that could be what this shift is about, you coming into more emotional stability here. Let's see, let's see for them, because we are going to clarify and get more information for sure. So for the other person here, we have the Five of Pentacles, the Ace of Wands, and Justice. Okay, so Libra energy here. Some of you might be dealing with a Libra. Doesn't have to be, that's for sure, but could be. Wow, okay, so this person is feeling um, alone, possibly even abandoned in some way. Um... Just a great, a great sense of loss, of having lost something that they want to gain back with that Ace of Wands. It does look like this person is moving in the right direction. Possibly wanting to make some kind of a decision to bring about balance or to make some kind of a decision to make things, to make things right. Let's see the potential outcome. We have the moon. So that's Pisces. Um, something's not revealed yet. Something is not being revealed just yet. I feel like things might still feel like they're going to be a little bit mysterious or just the, the final result of what is happening here and where things are moving towards with this person, it's not going to be cleared up just yet. But let's clarify and see what is going on here exactly. So let's see. Let's see that Nine of Pentacles with the Eight of Swords. All right, we have the Lovers, all right, Gemini, the Knight of Wands, and the Queen of Wands. Okay, so I feel like for some of you there might be a third party involved. It doesn't have to be a relationship, but it feels like for a lot of you it might be, okay? Um, 
because it feels like somebody is trying to break away from one of these connections. That's what they're trying to become independent from. I feel like there is some kind of a codependency here that someone has in a particular relationship and they're wanting to move away from that. Now, I do also get the feeling that it is the person down here, okay? Not not you. You're in a completely different type of an energy. I'm seeing that sense of loss for them. So I feel like this is them having, and they're the ones having to make a decision as well. So the lovers also talks about a decision. So this is why I'm connecting it with them. But of course, the roles can be reversed. Take it as it resonates. So what I'm seeing here is that this other person is trying to detach themselves from a particular situation or person it's just that there's their challenge is this eight of swords right being trapped by their own thoughts so over analyzing the situation coming up with all the negative scenarios and that is what is inhibiting them or challenging them from really stepping into this nine of pentacles energy a lot of this also has to do with their sense of self-worth almost like um, if their sense of self-worth is pretty low that's something that is also keeping them trapped all right, because there's a lot of negative thoughts that happen, like self-thought, self-criticism that happens, which doesn't really help them to become more independent. Um, I, I feel like there's a, there's a bit of back and forth here. Um, when it comes, because you're showing up here as this queen of wands. So it's like this person that you're dealing with is possibly in and out of your life during this time. And it's not only just being in and out, it's the, it, it might not be on a physical level, but energetically, it's like they, they want to move towards you. They have this drive to move towards you because you're very desirable to them. Um, but it's not, their movement is not very stable. Um, and again, it's associated with these negative thoughts that they have. All right. Um, Let's see. Let's see the Wheel of Fortune in your energy. We have Justice showing up again and the Tower. Wow, that's a lot of major energies here. Two major Arcana cards clarifying a major Arcana card. That's, that's pretty big. Um, there was a huge decision that you made. Something shifted. Something shifted, and I feel like, you know, it happened kind of suddenly. And I'm saying this in the past tense because I feel like for a lot of you, this is something that has already happened. For others of you, it might be something that's happening now. And for others of you, it might be coming up um, towards the end of this month. Okay, so again, just take it as it resonates. But I see, I always see the first cards as being um, maybe like a, a recent past energy, okay? And then it progresses to what you're moving towards. So I feel like for a lot of you, again, this has already happened. So there was a major decision here. There was a shift. You decided to turn the wheel in a different direction concerning your life and it happened pretty suddenly. And it was a huge change, okay, with the tower and it may have brought about a tower. It, or maybe it's the tower that happened that created this shift in you. Like something just really peaked, something came to a climax, something just kind of blew up. Let's see this King of Cups. The Two of Wands and the King of Cups again. Yeah, so I feel like what you're what you're doing here is that you you're finding your own emotional stability um, with this shift, whatever it is, and it's going to be different for each of you. But it's definitely dealing with things in a very different way than you have been dealing with them in the past, and it's like it's like very different. It's not just, okay, you know, I'm just going to change something. No, it's like a karmic cycle was broken or you broke a vicious cycle here. Um, and it could have even been a vicious cycle that was creating a tower, a tower moment for you, meaning a crisis, you know, over and over and over and over again until you just made this decision, like a final decision to just stop and to just break that. And you did, you did. Um, so yes, it's like there might be a part of you that um, for some of you, this isn't going to be for all of you, that might still be waiting for this person to find their emotional stability as well so that they can meet you there. But I feel like 
for the most part, that's in the back seat. That's not like at the forefront of your mind. Right here, this is all about your own emotional stability and feeling very secure within your own self. And at the same time, kind of holding back, kind of holding, it's like you're holding your emotions that you have for this person or the love that you have for this person like in reserve for a just in case kind of a scenario, but it's not controlling your life. It's not at the forefront, it's just, you know, um, kind of like, yeah, you know what, I'll hold space for you. You're, you're there somewhere, but, you know, we'll see if that time ever comes, how I feel then. It's, it's kind of like that, and it's like you're feeling very okay with that. And if you feel like this isn't you yet, you know, this is coming up. I mean, it's following that tower, that shift. You know, things are shifting big time for the better for you. So let's see this page of wands. The four of swords and the 10 of wands. Yeah, you're releasing this burden. I feel like you've been carrying it for a long time with this concerning this connection or this person. See the four of swords, it talks about healing. So this is you recovering from heartbreak, recovering from that tower, healing your emotions, healing your heart basically. And because of that, you are able to finally start looking in a new direction. It's like you're starting on this new path. And as you do so, you're releasing the old, you're releasing all this burden, all this weight that you've been carrying. So yeah, really good job, Aries. So let's see what's going on with this person here. see the five of pentacles the nine of cups and the empress wow okay so there you are showing up in this person's energy here as this empress so this person is feeling a loss um, of you which is kind of like feeling the loss of what it is that they would have wanted right with the nine of cups their wish fulfillment was you their empress um, feeling like they have lost you here so I feel like this you know, coincided with that wheel of fortune, you, you made a decision to move away from this person. And so they're feeling this loss, feeling like this is now just something like a fantasy in their minds that they could have had with you. And if they didn't, um, acknowledge you as being, you know, the person for them, right? This empress, well, they're acknowledging that now because now they, they miss it. Now they don't have it even if it's just on an energetic level, right? They're still picking up on that. All right, let's see the Ace of Wands because the Ace of Wands, I mean, it's like feeling this passion, wanting to reignite something, wanting to bring something back. Queen of Cups and the Six of Swords. So wanting to bring the love back. Um, beginning to feel more, more sentimental, more compassion from something that they have moved away from because I feel like, yeah, possibly this person actually um, moved away from you with that Six of Swords. Um, at the same time, this person is moving towards wanting to move away from conflicting situations. In order to be able to bring about something new, they're feeling a lot of passion for you. And I feel like there's been a lot of pain in the past um, that both of you have felt. So for you, I mean, it, it depends on the situation, but for some of you, it might feel like you are the ones who had to go through more of the pain here. Um, but I'm seeing that this person also also had pain. They also had pain even in the past, not just now because they're feeling this loss, but even in the past, they, they went through a lot of pain because of this situation. And I feel like their intuition is um, really speaking to them here with this Queen of Cups and pushing them. It's like they're getting this motivation to move away from that, from the situation that was creating pain and moving towards 
this justice card here. So let's see. Let's see justice. All right, for them to make a decision, some kind of a decision here as well. So let's see what justice is about, please. The Two of Cups and Temperance. Yeah, okay, making a major decision about love and going after love, right? Making the right decision decision in terms of love, coming from a place of being healed. And I know, I mean, this whole reading, it just feels like, oh, you know, it's like this perfect story, you know, of, yeah, there was pain and we're leaving that behind. Um, but that's that's what I'm seeing here. I mean, this person is feeling a lot of loss or has had to face some kind of a loss, all right, um, in terms of their wish and what it is that would fulfill them. And it's like they're in this process of w wanting that back now. But in order to have it, a major decision needs to be made here with justice, right? Um, it might take a little bit of time, all right, because we do have temperance here, which does also talk about patience, but it also talks about healing. So they're going through a healing process as they move away from the pain and from the conflicting situation that they find themselves in, because a lot of this has to do with healing their own self and their negative thought patterns, which is keeping them from becoming independent from some kind of a situation here. Now, for some of you, I'm also getting that this, this uh, main situation is also in terms of you becoming independent from this person, from this situation, even though, you know, there was love here and really moving, you know, away from that. And you are doing that. You're clearly doing that. But this person is also moving away from a particular situation here. and moving towards love, wanting to make a decision towards love. And of course, you know, justice can also represent legal matters concerning concerning love or concerning um, anything, really. But we have the Two of Cups here. So it will be in some way related to love. All right, so let's see the moon. Page of Swords, the Five of Cups, and the Emperor. I love that we have both the Empress and the Emperor out. We also have both the King of Cups and the Queen of Cups out as well. Um, okay, so things are still kind of up in the air, okay, as the as the final outcome here, at least for this time period, right? But, okay, with this Page of Swords, there is some research that is happening. There is some small steps that are, or some initial steps that are being taken here, at least researching, you know, the next step, the next move, whatever that is, it does entail a sense of loss again. So this has to do with the other person here, right? The five of cups. It has to do with losing something. And I feel like that something is going to be whatever they're trying to become more independent from, to separate themselves from. And in that way, you know, moving towards being the being the emperor, right? Standing in their full power. And once they're in this emperor energy, that is when they will be worthy of having their empress, right? Which their empress, you, is also their wish fulfillment. Now, by that time, I mean, I don't know where you will be because I do see you really moving on. I mean, again, it does feel like you're holding space for this person. Um, but yeah, you will have to see when the time comes. For now, it feels like it is taking a little bit of time. This person is healing, um, but they are moving in the right direction. That's very clear. And I feel like these small steps, right, that I'm talking about in the, in the potential outcome here, um, you can't see them. This is still being hidden from you because, well, th they're small. They're small, but I feel like they're small but significant because it's starting off small, right, with the Page of Swords, but it's ending up with something very big, the emperor. Okay, Aries, if this resonated, let's see the final message for you. And we have crossing bridges. It's time for healing, connecting, mending, and releasing. And yeah, I feel like you're crossing that bridge. You're really crossing a bridge to like a new way of, of being. You're detaching, and then I feel like this person is actually following you, detaching from whatever it is that they need to detach from. And releasing, of course. All right, Aries, those are your messages. Thank you so much for watching. Much love.